We can all agree that life can get messy, chaotic, and scary sometimes. The fast-paced world we live in can be overwhelming if left unchecked. Many of us tackle our fears by reading books, listening to self-help podcasts, or visiting a therapist. Although this works in theory, our brain can get easily flooded with too much information, leading to decision paralysis. But what if there was a simpler way to navigate life's challenges? A set of short rules we can fall back on to help us overcome our obstacles and challenges. In this video, I will discuss the 10 very short rules to live a good life according to the teachings of Stoic philosophy. These rules help ancient Stoic philosophers overcome the horrors of war, disease, and human cruelty over 2,000 years ago. By reflecting on these rules daily, you can build a life of tranquility and resilience. So let's get right into it. Rule number one is to focus on what you control. All we truly control are our actions, beliefs, and virtues. Rule number two, be the best version of yourself moment to moment. According to the Stoics, the purpose of our life is to show up every day and be all that we can be. Rule number three, take responsibility for how you react to obstacles. The Stoics tell us that we have two choices when confronted with life's challenges. One is to wallow in self-pity or two is to confront our fears and tackle them head on. Now rule number four is want what you have. Now this is the practice of gratitude. It helps us appreciate how blessed we truly are for all the things we already possess. Rule number five is that remember you will die. This is the concept of memento mori and it suggests that we meditate on our mortality and take care of our most precious resource, which is our time. Now rule number six is to be strict with yourself and tolerant of others. The Stoics tell us that moderation is one of the key virtues that we must embody. On top of that, we should be kind to other people and tolerant of their mistakes, but be very strict with how we go about our lives. Now rule number seven is focus on the present moment. Now the present moment is all we truly have. Stop suffering before it is necessary by imagining a future problem. You will be able to face the future with the same weapons that arm you against the present moment. Rule number eight is to accept whatever fate has in store for you. This is the concept of Amora Fati, which means that you love and accept whatever life throws at you and you know that you will be able to tackle it with wisdom and kindness. Now rule number nine is don't suffer before it is necessary. A lot of us spend our time in anxiety or frustration about what the future or past hold. It's important to understand that to suffer well, we must not suffer unnecessarily. Now rule number 10 is value time more than money and possessions. As we stated earlier, time is our most precious resource and that money or possessions are external factors that come and go. Make sure you guard your time and only focus it on what truly matters. So with that said, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then go ahead and click the like button. And if you're interested in more Stoicism or philosophy content, then consider subscribing. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.